Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Now what is Docker? Docker is an open source software platform that to create, deploy and manage virtualized application containers on a common operating system. Now it basically means that first of all you can have you can choose the operating system on which you want to deploy your application and on that operating system the docker will create a virtualized container in which your application code will be saved now it will the docker will provision and run the containers independent of the os on which it is installed and the docker will share the services of one underlying operating system by which we, it means that all the resources present in that operating system will be shared by all the docker resources currently being used now there could be many type of operating system on which we can deploy our applications in docker for example we can use linux systems centos and also windows operating systems and there is no barrier in using applications of different languages like tomcat ubuntu cake php so for each language in which the code is written for the application we can choose the specific type of container for our application to be here we have a simple layout of how the containerized applications look in docker infrastructure so where here we have an infrastructure which is the whole layout on which we have an host operating system this operating system could be centos ubuntu or any other linux system or any other operating system and upon those operating system we have placed a docker docker container and in a single docker container there are several types of applications launched so these all applications are using the resource of this host operating system now here is the conventional layout of how the project code passes through different stages and here we have the project code and we here we have the pro provisioning script so through the provisioning script we can pass on the code to various stages like if you want to pass on the code to a virtual machine we can do that or in case we want to store the code we can store the code in github and also in case we want to deploy the code from github to the production server we can do that or we can directly deploy the code from the main source using provisioning script to the production server also the same can be applied to the staging server too now here what is the issue the main issue lies is that if we have a single application and if we have different virtual machines or different production servers we have to again go on that system and again launch the same code again deploy the same code on these server and that could be a bit tidy so what docker does is that we can use the docker images to deploy our code so here in the docker infrastructure we have a project code and we have a docker file so what the docker file do is that docker file creates a docker image and the docker image is the container the docker image is stored in the container and in in that docker image we can store various types of application and which which will be consuming the virtual machines configuration the the cpu the ram of the virtual machine and we can create as many containers as we want and we can uh, launch as many applications in those containers so once let us say there are two applications in the container and if we want to have four application we can simply add a virtual machine and we can extend our container like that and after that what we can do is we can simply store the container on the docker hub docker hub is the facility provided by docker to store the docker containers remotely so you can access them from anywhere and once stored we can simply deploy our applications using these docker hub containers on the staging server or the production server so the dependency on the project code totally ends upon this step the docker hub step so from docker hub we can simply deploy our applications on both the staging and production server and in case we want to have multiple applications running on multiple containers then what we can do is we can create a cluster 
a cluster or a cloud so what is a cluster cluster is the collection of different types of containers and in these containers we have different types of application present so let us say if we have created a cluster and we have two containers container one container one has application a and b and container two has application c and d and these both containers are using the resources independently of the operating system so we can launch as many as container as we want and in case we want to have a accessibility from outside we can install the server on the cluster or we can install any type of uh, server like apache and Nginx, and we can access these containers from outside world so if we want the containers to be having a basic access from on our premises only we can also do that or we can access these clusters from outside using the servers using this functionality we can easily work upon the the deployment issues that we face using the manual processes so talking about the inner loop development workflow of docker apps so first the first step is we code our app and we write the docker files and on the third step what we do is we define the docker images so docker images are simply the applications stored on the docker containers and these images can be stored on remote docker registry and the fourth step is to define services by writing so we write a docker compose dot yml file and three and through these files the docker containers are running and after we compose these files the docker container runs and it moves to testing environment so we can test our test our application using docker containers on the environment and once it's passed through that environment the code the docker code container can be pushed to the developing environment and further on it can be pushed to staging staging and production environment so this is the whole layout of how the docker containers works and we will be talking about docker containers in detail in future tutorials so friends that was all for today's tutorial Thank you.